Gene therapy for sickle cell disease. People with sickle cell disease experience painful blood vessel blockages, also known as vaso-occlusive crises, that can lead to acute severe life-threatening chest pain, stroke, jaundice, and symptoms of heart failure. They are often anemic and often die premature death because there was no cure. The current standard treatment options for sickle cell disease are meant to treat the symptoms without doing anything about the root cause of the disease. Until now, the only cure for sickle cell disease is a stem cell transplant from a matched donor, but this option has a very big problem because there are no compatible donors for those that have the money for the treatment and are eager to get treatment. People living with beta thalassemia also have similar problem with getting a compatible donors. It is this long-standing problem that the Nobel Prize winning invention is solving. Thus looking for a compatible donor is now out of the way. People can now come for treatment without having to spend several years looking for a compatible donor. You might be wondering how the innovation solved the problem. The answer is in what we call CRISPR-based gene editing therapy. At this point I want to give kudos to the Vertex Pharmaceuticals Limited and CRISPR Therapeutics. The developer of this great solution called Castivi, which uses the gene editing tool CRISPR, the developers of this innovation won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. The name of this wonderful product is Castivi. Castivi is a cell therapy which is given once only as a blood stem cell transplant. It is made from the patient's own blood stem cells and is made specially for the patient. Blood stem cells can produce other blood cells including red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Cells are taken from a patient, modified and then returned to the patient as a transplant. How does the gene therapy work? To understand how it works let's outline the problems in sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia so that we can appreciate the genius solutions. Sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia are caused by errors in the genes that encode hemoglobin, which helps red blood cells to carry oxygen around the body. In sickle cell disease, abnormal hemoglobin makes blood cells abnormally shaped and sticky, causing them to form clumps that can clog blood vessels. These blockages reduce the oxygen supply to tissues. Beta thalassemia occurs when mutations lead to low hemoglobin levels in the blood, low numbers of red blood cells. To solve these problems, Castivi is designed to work by editing the faulty gene in a patient's bone marrow stem cells so that the body produces good hemoglobin. To do this, stem cells are taken out of bone marrow, edited in a laboratory to replace the bad gene with a good gene, and then infused back into the patient after which the patient will be able to produce normal red blood cells. This outcome have the potential to be a lifelong solution. Note that this is a highly simplified explanation. We will make a video giving a more detailed explanation. Kindly subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified. Who can use Castivi? Castivi is approved for two categories of patients. 1. The treatment of sickle cell disease in patients 12 years of age and older, with recurrent vaso-occlusive crises for whom stem cell transplantation is appropriate and a matching human stem cell donor is not available. 2. For the treatment of transfusion-dependent beta thalassemia in patients 12 years of age and older, for whom stem cell transplantation is appropriate and a human stem cell donor is not available. This landmark approval has opened the door for further applications of this therapies in the future for the potential cure of many genetic diseases. We will be making more updates on gene therapies to cure other diseases. Kindly subscribe to our channel for this updates. How Doctors Administer Castivi Castivi is for intravenous use only. Doctors take stem cells out of a patient's bone marrow and editing a gene in the cells in a laboratory. Patients must then undergo conditioning treatment to prepare the bone marrow to accept the modified patient's stem cells to stay before the modified cells are infused back into the patient. After that, patients may need to spend at least a month in a hospital facility while the treated cells take up residence in the patient bone marrow and start to make red blood cells with the normal form of hemoglobin. How safe is this therapy? The side effects include nausea, fatigue, fever and an increased risk of infection, but no notable safety concerns were identified. One concern surrounding the approach is that CRISPR, Cas9 can sometimes make unintended genetic modifications with unknown side effects. Where can I get this treatments? As of the time of making this video, it is approved in the United Kingdom, England, Scotland and Wales. The US Food and Drug Administration is also considering approval of Castivi. For now, the therapy is likely to remain the reserve of rich nations with developed healthcare systems. This treatment may not easily scale up to be able to provide treatments in low- and middle-income countries, since it requires the technology to obtain a patient's blood stem cells, deliver the genetic editor to these stem cells, and then reinjection of these cells. How much will it cost? Even in places where it win approval, the high cost of Castivi is likely to limit who can benefit from it. The treatment's price has not yet been settled in the United Kingdom. We will make an update on this once we have an official price and you will be notified if you subscribe to our channel. Other similar gene therapies is estimated to cost roughly 2 million US dollars per patient. Note that, knowledge is advancing by the day and we will like to always post an update on new advances on how to stay healthy. You can contact us via the link in the description below for any medical inquiry.
You are watching Zoom Hospital channel and listening to work of Dr. Cariorty.